Welcome everybody. I wanted to preface this episode today by saying flat earth stuff isn't the only thing I do. I swear. I actually limit myself to one a month, usually, because I know I could just take the mick out of these guys all day, every day, and never not have fun. But variety is the spice of life, so it's good to keep a mix going. But when you get a video handed to you from one of your favourite log cows with a title like Flat Earth Proof. Simple questions ball sacks can't answer. Well, can you blame me? I am but a mere mortal man. It also helps that the first frame, the very first split second of this video, is this. Ugh, well. Let's let's just get on with it, shall we? I ain't talking about the flat earth shit in a long fucking time. But check this out, look, look. For you by all the bitches, check this out. Oh, I can't wait, mate. This is gonna be amazing. If the Earth is a fucking ball that spins thousands of miles per hour going through our space and going around the sun, shouldn't the stars look like a fucking blur in the sky? No. You want more? Oh, you'll get more. But first, let's allow Delano to elaborate on his <clears throat> point. Think about it. You first, dumbass. If we spin it so damn fast, and the stars are billions of miles away, it should look like a blur in the sky. Well, fast is relative, isn't it? A thousand miles an hour, basically the Earth's rotational speed, or thereabouts, FYI, is super goddamn fast if you are something very small, like a person. If you could move at a thousand miles per hour, you could cover 450 meters in a single second. That means I could travel to my local supermarket and back again in just two hours. Five seconds for the traveling, an hour and 59 minutes and 55 seconds removing item from bagging area and waiting for a member of staff to scan their fecking ID. It's so convenient! But a thousand miles an hour to something a thousand miles wide would essentially just put it next to itself in an hour. Certainly wouldn't look very fast now, would it? Like, for example, everybody do this. Stand up, look at your ceiling. Now, we go, if, if most of y'all got nigger ceilings that got their little dots and bumps and shit on the ceiling, okay? Now, spin your ass around and look at the ceiling. You can't spin a thousand miles per hour your damn self, but you still can see that it swirl. Yeah, even that little spin you did there, way too fast. Right, the Earth's circumference is about 25,000 miles, and as I said before, it rotates at a thousand miles per hour. So what you should be doing is turning around about 15 degrees every hour. Now I don't know if you figured this out yet, but that is really, 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 really goddamn slow. You won't be seeing any blur, you won't be seeing anything but your spotty roof practically motionless, even though it is moving ever so slightly. Well, you are, but you know what I mean. Well, if the stars, if the stars are billions of miles away and the Earth's spinning that fucking fast and we moving so fucking fast, the stars should look like a blur in the sky, like a swirl of ice cream, just like that. You'll be taking an hour to move from Mia to, and let's be super duper generous here, to say Mia. Do you think that would be blurry at all? Try turning your head that distance over ten seconds. Still not blurry. Do you understand now? So no, the stars should not be blurry as hell. They should move across the sky in an extremely you manner. You? I'm so sorry. I meant to say slow. Now why would I say that? I got another question. So what about the sun? The sun is a giant ball of swirling, burning hydrogen that emits heat and light, but contrary to most flat earthers' opinions, doesn't shine out of used lots buttholes. I know, learning is fun. When the sun rises, we can look straight at the fucking sun. We can just look at that bitch. <sighs> it's funny that you think this is a gotcha, but it really isn't. It's exactly what we would expect on a quote-unquote ball earth. The earth has an atmosphere. It's what protects us from dying of space. It's basically a bunch of gas that hangs around the Earth due to lol fake gravity lol. When you direct light through any medium, it will be dispersed to some degree. And when the sunlight is travelling to our eyes at an angle, it travels through a lot more atmosphere than when it's directly above us. But in the middle of the day, it's too bright to look at. 
It only happens because we are on a spherical planet. And unless you have a model for how it could work on a flat Earth, then all you're doing is saying, and I know, folks, this is really, really hard to believe, but all you're saying is, I don't understand something, therefore flat Earth. Also, that smug face dough. Next question. The globe was designed to represent the real Earth model. That's not a question. It's scarcely a sentence, but whatever. Yes, the globe was designed to look like the Earth. Shocking when people try to make things that reflect reality. Then you know they are evil. This way the globe was designed. But if you're looking at the globe and it was designed to look like the real Earth, which way is north? Oh god, he's about to say something really, really stupid, isn't he? It goes up. It goes up. <laughs> you, you ever feel the moment when you lose, like, 10 full IQ points? I'm dumb enough already. Stop trying to make me stupider. Like, look at the... Hold on, let me get a damn ball. Hold on, let me... Look at this orange right here. P picture this shit blue, right? Now, if you were looking at the globe, north would be going up this way, right? But if you got an iPhone or somebody and you pull your compass out, which way is north? It's flat. Nope, nope, nope. Right, this took some pain in the ass and high quality photoshopping, but... Here's why that's wrong, and the flat earth model just doesn't work. This is a straight line between Ecuador and Kenya. If you fly along that line and you had a compass in your hand, it would always point pretty much directly to your left on one route and your right in the other direction. And this is what we do see. Now on the flat earth model, this is a direct route between those two places. And those white lines, well, that's a good indicator of what your compass should be doing. Spoiler alert, this is not what happens. When you fly directly between these two points, even if you charted your own jet with a trusted, somehow flat earth believing pilot, which let's be frank, would be some kind of miracle if he didn't kill you all, it would not happen. Now I wonder why that is. The earth flatter than a motherfucker. Ah, wrong. North, north don't go like this on your compass when you pull it out, it goes flat. Up isn't up like that when you were on the side of something. It's just forward or backwards or whatever direction you're moving in. The same way, the, the same way an airplane fly flat, right? I really don't want to explain gravity for the 50th time. This is an old meme I made. It contains all the info that you need. I wish I could explain this shit. It's almost like you don't know what you're talking about. There's this old saying that if you can't explain something in simple terms so that a five-year-old could understand it, you more than likely don't understand it yourself. Maybe think on that. So, from what we know, we know the sky is fucking up. But based off the globe model, everywhere is the goddamn sky. Yep, the ground is the sky, the sea is the sky. Wait, no, that's wrong. We aren't flying around like bloody Superman up here, mate. The sky isn't up on a global scale. It's just pulled towards the Earth. What you're talking about is from a human scale, a narrow perspective without the benefit of technology or other equipment to measure stuff. Kind of like you're a caveman. Wait, that explains a whole lot. You got motherfuckers in China upside down. They sky this way. Again, I refer you to this. Gravity is towards the center, and the sky is on the outside edges being pulled down. And we are absolutely upside down in relationship to whoever is stood on the other side of the planet. And they look in a different direction when they look up. And that's okay. That's how it works. Think about the shit, it's some simple shit. I know, I, look, I know I sound like, what the fuck is he talking about, but you just... Oh, that's not fair. I am completely convinced that you're an expert in... But you just... Whatever the hell that is. Just think about it, like, what I'm trying to say. Look at this picture of the Earth right here. This is based off a real picture of the Earth. Wait, so you do believe there are real pictures of the Earth? Man, this is another one of those things that loses Flat Earthers' credibility as well. Complete lack of consensus. Because that's the one thing about reality. It tends to be basically the same for everyone. That's why science works. Now you show it looks like this? Or does it really look like this? From being on the Earth and what I see every day, it looks more like this. If I was in an airplane, the Earth would look exactly like this. Instead of like this ball. So, 
Is this actually your entire argument? It looks flat from your perspective, therefore it is. That's the only reason that you really think it is. Have you ever stopped to think about why the scientific community completely disagrees with you? And no, they all lying is not where you stop at that line of inquiry. You have to actually ask someone, why do they think that? What do they know that I don't? Because, and here's a good clue, it's a lot, and I mean a lot, that you don't know. That they do. Just staggering amounts of information that you simply aren't privy to or are incapable of comprehending. See, that's the difference between you and me. When I don't know something or can't wrap my head around it, my first reaction isn't to think that somehow I know better than basically every expert in the world. That's the type of thing an idiot would think, wouldn't he, Delano? And with the, with the gravity shit. Gravity, y'all say, is a, it's a force that pulls down. So the motherfuckers upside down, they gravity pulling the other goddamn way. Basically, yes. Let me guess. Argument from incredulity instead of finding out how it works coming up? And the motherfuckers that live on the side of the goddamn earth, they gravity pulling this fucking way in them. And the motherfuckers on this side, they gravity pulling this goddamn way. This shit don't make no fucking sense, man. Shocking. This is another reason why the earth fucking flat. With the firmament above the earth. Doesn't exist, mate. Why the clouds just stay where the fuck they at? Why they ain't just flying the fuck off? Like, they just stuck right there. All you want to do is give me a long ass mathematical problem. <sighs> fuck y'all, man. Y'all, yeah. oh my gosh. And there it is, isn't it? Someone gives you an answer that you can't understand and you reject it. Not because it's wrong, but because you can't wrap your head around it. That is not the reaction of a smart person. That is the reaction of a cretin. If you can't understand something, then learn more about it. Understand the fundamentals that lead up to it. Get an education. Most people with enough hard work can understand the basics of a lot of things. But you are too intellectually lazy to try and too intellectually dishonest to admit that you do not understand it. I don't believe clouds is water because I can't hold fucking water. I can't hold a damn cloud. Water vapour. Water vapour. Have you ever boiled water? That's the same shit, just on a massive scale in clouds. Have you ever been past a power station with those huge cooling towers? It's just water vapour as well, for the most part. Write up the power company and ask. Get yourself into some sort of facility tour. I'm sure it could be arranged. Stop disbelieving things just because you don't get it. It's super freaking annoying. But a fucking cloud can hold water? It is water. Fuck out of here. But so it make more sense that above the dome is water. That make more fucking sense than some shit I can't hold in my fucking hand. Oh, I'm so sorry. You've held the firmament in your hand, have you? Well, that's remarkable. You really should show people what you've discovered because that's a goddamn scientific breakthrough. But again, no, you're just wrong. You can make clouds of water vapour yourself and you wouldn't need to do anything more complex than boil some water on a cold day. Going up invisible into some white fluffy shit, the white fluffy shit holding the shit, then all of a sudden, when it, when it so-called get too damn heavy, the white fluffy shit want to shit out the water, which made rain. Yeah, okay. That's a nice nursery school explanation of clouds, especially with the swearing. Is that your education level, though, mate? Because that would explain literally everything. It's a little more complicated than that in actuality, but I don't know why I bother when your ultimate response is... Just look, all y'all do, just read Genesis, bro. Everything what it say right there is exactly what it looked like. Remember, with now in the sign of the book, everything that they say, you can't see, and you gotta just believe that's what it is. You believe literally in a book that has some extremely shallow examples of the real world, and a lot of stuff that you simply cannot prove. A lot of stuff that you cannot prove. But you don't believe the thing, and in fact, project those unprovable elements onto it when you can prove all the things that you say you can't because instead of seeing it with your own fucking eye fuck math 
Fuck math and fuck that. Like, like they taught me a lot of math back in the day. You gotta learn this. I ain't use none of that shit yet. You are an idiot.